Hi friends, how are you? Wisdom Tutelage represents a complete web series on postgraduate entrance examination in botany for Benaras Hindu University, which is based on the 2019 question paper. The full analysis, tricks, and solution are presented here. This is episode number two. So let's go in. As all of we know that from the year of 2019, the entrance is on online mode. So the first question of that examination was, Lodicules of the family poesy are modified. The options are Lemma, Pelia, Sepals, Stigma. All of we know that the sepals is modified into lodicules in case of the family poesy. Here the complete illustration is given here. And apart from that, the different important parts of the spikelet inflorescence, which is the main characteristic feature of the family poesy, are also presented here. And in this question, the lodicules is a modification of the sepals. But besides this, there are some other parts like lemma, pelia, glumes, etc., which is also important for your upcoming examination. Now, the question number two Williamsonia sevardiana belongs to order. All of we know that the Williamsonia is, belongs to order Benetitialis. All the systematic position of Williamsonia are given here. Now, the question number three the myrosin cells are present in the leaves of. It is a clear cut question. That means it is found in the leaves of Brassica. Basically, the myrosin cells accumulate myrosinase type of enzyme in their vacuoles to catalyze the production of toxic compounds when tissues are damaged by herbivores. Myrosin cells are positioned adjacent to the abaxial side of the vasculature, but their origin is unclear. So now the question number four. Perisperm is, it is nothing but the persistent nucleus. The explanation is given here. Now question number five, intraxylary phloem and intraxylary phloem are present in. All of we know that the intraxylary phloem is only the intraxylary phloem is found in tecoma stems. But both the intra as well as the interxylary phloem are found in strychnos. Apart from the strychnos, there are other two plants, namely Leptadenia and Thunbargia coccinea, which also have intraxylary and intraxylary phloem in their anatomy or stem anatomy. The structures are given here. Now the question number six. Gridling leaf press are the characteristic feature of which plant? The correct answer is cycas. Images are also given here for your further reference. Black scale of pinus is a part of. It is nothing but the megasporophyll. The structure of the megasporophyll is given here. This is question number seven. Now the question number eight. Which is the following species of pinus has trifoliar spur? All the examples are given from different species of pinus. It is very a critical question. You have to remember these things. Pinus gerardiana have trifoliar spur. But apart from this, there are unifoliar, bifoliar, trifoliar and multifoliar leaf traces are also found in case of different species of pinus. All the species are given here apart along with the examples or diagrams. Now question number nine. Embryo sac development of netum is. Embryo sac development of netum is of tetrasporic type. Basically, the tetrasporic type of embryo sac development found in case of several angiosperms like Peperomia, Fetalaria, Plumbacella, Adoxa, etc. Now, question number 10. A spike of unisexual flowers is found in. 
it is found in mulberry catkin is a pendular spike in leaf axis which bears unisexual flowers it is a type of racemose inflorescence the example is mulberry so this is the correct explanation of this question now question number 11 the hairs present in maize corn cob are so what do you mean by maize corn cob corn or maize is a bisexual plant which produces separate pollen born on the male flowers or tassels and oviliferous inflorescence or ears that killed kernels the ears are enveloped by several layers of leaves commonly called husks and the hairs that emerge on the corn cob from the ear leaves is actually the elongated styles with feathery stigmas also called silks but in case of this question the options are seed hairs mid midified hairs of bracts stigma and style so both the stigma and style are present here if this is the case your option must be the style but the correct option is elongated styles with feathery stigma so this is a controversial question in my opinion now question number 12 when the filament runs along the back of the anther it is called it is called adnate type of anther so different types of anthers are given here the adnations that means the attachment of the anther to the filament are given here along with the examples now question number 13 companion cells are closely associated with so companion cells are nothing but the parts of phloem so sieve elements are adjacent to the companion cells which is shown in the diagram now question number 14 pentamerous flowers inferior ovary and basal placentation is found in so these are the characters of asterisk so apart from those the other characters are also mentioned here go through it now question number 15 total number of series in bentham and hooker system of classification is the correct answer is 21 i have given the entire classification along with the different types of series you have to remember these things now question number 16 sensor mechanism of seed dispersal is found in it is found in case of the family papaveraceae so what do you mean by sensor mechanism when the fruit is shaken forcefully with the help of wind the seeds come out in small aggregates and this mechanism is called sensor mechanism they wait for a brisk wind enabling to and fro motion of the fruit so it is found in the genus papaver now question number 17 sago palmis among the different species of cycas the sago palm is basically goes for the species cycas revoluta it is a basically a alcoholic drink which is produced by the different types of japanese persons in their country now question number 18 floral buds are modified into tendrils in case of antigonon so there are different types of modifications of tendrils i have given here go through it for your further reference now question number 19 stipulate leaves epipetalous stamens and exile placentation is found in these are the characters of the family rubiaceae the other characters or the other diagnostic characters of the family rubiaceae is given here you have to remember others characters also now the question number 20 which of the following is not correct for family asterisk so again the diagnostic characters must come in this section among the different options the correct option is superior ovary it is not found in case of family asterisk so other diagnostic characters i again mentioned here so this is all about our episode 2 if you 
think that these informations or the explanations are helpful for you and you like this video then definitely subscribe our channel and don't forget to press the bell icon and share our video as much as possible otherwise you miss the next segment or the next video of our channel goodbye stay safe and stay healthy